Hi guys, it's Effie and Sakal here. Today we're going to be sharing the EFT technique with you. Uh, I'll be handing it over to Sakal and I'll come in a little bit more in part two. Um, we find it, it is an amazing tool for clearing emotions, very powerful and very simple. Thank you very much. Okay guys, so I wanted to give you a background about what EFT is and how to use it successfully. So I've been using EFT for close to 15 years now. I started in 2004 and I wanted to talk you through the journey of how to use EFT, the basics of how do you get from your life's issues, your life's themes, all the way to actually clearing them out and what can you do with EFT. So this video has been a long time coming. I've wanted to make this video, we've wanted to make this video for quite a long time. And the idea is EFT has been around since probably early to mid 1990s. I discovered it in 2004. I became a full-time trainer and practitioner in 2006. 2005 practitioner, 2006 trainer, and I was a trainer all the way through to 2014. I taught EFT level one, EFT level two, and EFT level three, probably done hundreds of courses, and in those years I've done thousands of client sessions, worked with thousands of clients and done thousands of client sessions. So I found what works and what doesn't work, and today I want to show you, okay, how does EFT work? What is the mechanics, what are the mechanics involved, and how do you work from having all this life stuff that you want to clear out of you into actually being rid of it, okay? So the first thing is EFT is called emotional freedom techniques. You're actually going to be tapping on points of your body, and I'll teach you which 10 points that those are. I'll teach you those points and you'll learn to tap out stress out of your body. Okay, so we're here on this life experience. And what happens on this life experience is things happen. You have things happen that are unpleasant, fear, grief, anger, guilt, shame, disempowerment. All this stuff starts happening to you and you don't know how to get rid of it. EFT is one of the few self-help tools that I've encountered that you can take home and do yourself. You don't need any practitioner. You don't need to call Sakal up to come and help you. You don't need anyone. You just need you. And all of these relaxation points are already on your body. It's funny. It's like you are the spirit in this vessel, in this human body. You have these life experiences to gain knowledge and understanding of different things in life. And then this vehicle has these points that you press on and you release the stress again. That's funny, isn't it? Well, if you think about it like that, you're fully equipped to have the best possible journey you can have. You may not have known it. Now, I'm talking to everyone as well who's ever experienced or done a little bit of EFT, but found it works a little bit, but not fully. I can probably tell you that you have done some things along the way which didn't fully get you to where you needed to be, okay? So EFT is part of a group of methods, mythologies, uh, ways of working known as energy psychology. Energy psychology combines that. The energy work, the chi, the prana, maybe from the eastern part of the world, originally 5,000 years ago and before, with more the psychology elements. And for instance, you know, I've worked with a lot of different methods. I've tested probably 20, 30 different methods. And what I've stuck with over all these years and still do it almost daily is EFT. I do it myself with my clients. Ophine and I tap all the time. We tap with our kids. Why? Because it works. And it's super simple. Okay, so here goes. How do you work from having these life issues to being done with them. Now this video is also for any potential and future clients so that you, before we start working together, know how EFT works. And it is for everyone who wants to know how to do EFT properly, efficiently, effectively, at home, without having to do a session with anyone. Okay? When I started my EFT journey, in fact, 
I comprised a list of 600 plus memories, things that had bothered me in my life. Why so many? Well, because I'm an empath and I felt everything really deeply. So I wrote all of those down. In fact, I did it in an Excel file. Why? Because I love Excel files. That's just part of me. So I wrote it in Excel files with a little title, three word title of what happened. I gave it a score of intensity and I'll teach you guys how to do all that. And then I started tapping my way through all of that over the months and months and months after that. And it totally started freeing me up. So let's say you're dealing with life stuff and everybody knows their life stuff. If I talk to a random person on the street and I ask them, what are your life issues? They would say, oh, I've got depression. Um, I've got chronic fatigue syndrome. My mother just passed away. My child is ill. I've got problems with my boss. I don't have enough money. I'm not happy in life. I don't know what my passion is, etc., etc., etc. Everybody's got their little list ready to go and is often happy to tell everyone. The thing is, by just talking about it, you're actually not going to be able to clear it. So how do people often start with EFT? Well, they look online or they hear from someone, try this EFT thing. You just tap on some of these tapping points and it gets rid of stuff. I don't really know how it works, but try it. And then what do they do? They start working on, let's say, their depression. So they would tap depression, 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 and I'll show you all the 10 points in a moment. And they would have the ever so slightest effect. They might feel a little bit lighter, but guess what? your body does not know what depression is. Your body does know the time you sat on the couch at 3 a.m. in front of the TV with no more programs running and you thought, why do I still want to live? Why bother still living? That's a memory that's in each and every one of your cells. And so the stress and the emotion connected to that particular memory, you can bring up in yourself. And then when you load that up into your body, you can tap on it. You can utilize these 10 points that I'm going to teach you and get rid of that stress. So one of the number one tips I will give you for all of those that have done EFT or heard about it and maybe tried it, dabbled with it, worked maybe with a practitioner or learned it from your psychologist or watched a video on YouTube, the number one tip is identify your themes, which is depression, anxiety, um, dealing with loss of a parent, whatever it is, your big stuff, identify it and then find memories connected to it because your body knows the memories. So it's like a house of cards that is built up. Each one is a memory, builds up this whole house of cards, which is your theme called depression. So if you want to tackle the theme called depression, you don't tap on depression. You actually tap on the individual memories where you've got the stress associated in your brain and every cell of your body. Why? Because that's how your body stores things. So you've made a list of your themes. You then want to find key memories. And guess what? You don't have to do them all because EFT has something called the generalization effect or the domino effect. You pull out a couple of strategic cards from that house of cards called depression and the whole thing starts to fall. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is find your themes. Now you can do this at home. After this video, you won't need anyone. Where Ophelia and I are really good is we're detectives. We help you find your stuff, but you don't need to work with us. After this video, you will be fully self-empowered to use the tool EFT forever from then on in. All you've got to do is choose to use it. And it's as basic as your fork at dinner time. It's an emotional shower that you can use to heal your life, to feel happier, healthier, and more abundant. And it's free. You have to do nothing for it. Just follow these simple instructions. Okay, so let's say your thing is depression or your thing is fear of driving, pick your, maybe you've got 10 items, most people maybe have four to eight of these themes that they have. So you've got your list of these themes. The next step is to locate memories and a memory is defined as a moment in time or a short period of time where you can answer what, when, who and where. So for instance, the time 
your mother threw a plate at you because she was so angry with you that you didn't do something or you broke something. And you could call that as a little title, like if you were to rent a DVD or watch a, watch a movie on Netflix or at the theater or at the movies. What is the title of this particular memory? We could call that Mum Plate Kitchen. It's got to be words that are descriptive, not how you felt as much, even though you can use that in the title. But if you say anxious, afraid, scared, your body doesn't know what memory that is. But if you say mom plate kitchen, boom, it's right there. It's loaded into your body. Now, the next thing I want to explain is, which will lead also to the use of these 10 EFT tapping points. Everybody's probably heard of the technique called acupuncture, where you use needles in the body to regulate energy flow. Well, there's about 400 acupuncture points. EFT has used 10 of those. Now, across the board, there's millions of YouTube videos and movies and seminars and books and stuff on EFT. Now, in my experience, a lot of it often is doesn't go straight to the core of things. So if you want to go to the core of things, you want to work with these particular memories. Now, the points you'll be tapping on are of the acupuncture points. And acupuncture puts a needle in and regulates a flow. You tap on points, and it blasts energy out of your body. So you use what's known as the energy meridian system. So there's energy meridians that run through your body. Okay? And so we use points that are connected to these energy meridians that when you tap on them, it's like you blast a little bit of energy or chi or prana or whatever you want to call it, life force energy through them, which will blast out the stress. Now, if you don't fully understand that or find it hard to believe that such a thing exists, all I can say is try it and understand that it works for you as well. This works for every human being, whether you're a baby or whether you're 90 years old, it doesn't matter. EFT is a self-help tool that can be taught to anybody. And you can also tap on someone else. So someone could be here next to me. Yofinia could be standing next to me and could tap on these points and it would work as well. Okay? So what you want to find is your themes. They're up here. Write them on a piece of paper. Underneath each of them, find the main memories that are connected to these themes. For some themes, you might have 20 memories, for others you only have three. So let's say your depression, you find five big memories where you were really depressed. Maybe the time you wanted to just drive your car off the road or you couldn't get up out of bed or you just were so depressed at work, you just, something happened and a colleague said, are you okay? And you could call that Bob work okay. That would be your title. So the next thing is you want to give each memory a good title and words to look for is who, what, when, where. That's pretty easy to do so far, and everybody can find these because they're memories inside of you. So bring out the ones that come up automatically, even if you don't think they're perfect. It doesn't matter if they happened when you were five years old or if they happened yesterday. Make a list of these memories. The next thing you want to do is assign a charge to each one of these memories you find. Now remember, memories will be connected to your themes, and to, for your themes to change in your life, for you know, to no longer be depressed, for you to no longer feel like you're afraid of driving in a car and all of the other themes. Now a charge is found not by feeling into what it was when it happened because often we would assign tens to everything because everything feels intense when it happens. But you want to close your eyes. You want to go into a slight meditative state or a relaxed state and you want to go into this inner little movie theater. So you want to close your eyes Go into this relaxed, light, meditative state, just a relaxed state, close your eyes, go into this mini movie theater, and then all around you, like in a 3D theater, you want to play this particular memory, car accident bridge, and let it flood your senses there, and one to 10 in your body, you'll feel a response. 10 is really intense, one is really low. So you do that for each memory, and then you assign that number to the memory. So our goal is, like with a shovel, which is a tool as well, we want to shovel a pile of whatever you want to call it out of there, okay? So EFT helps to have stress that you load into your system by thinking of a memory. It gets it out by flushing it out of your meridians. So recap. 
find your themes, find your memories, assign an intensity rating. A SUDS score is what it's called in EFT land, a systematic unit of distress. Now, that's just a fancy name of saying, how big is it for you? How big does it feel? Okay. Now, I'm going to show you the 10 EFT points. Okay. So, what you want to do is find if you're right or left. That should be pretty easy, except for those of you who are both left and right, then it doesn't matter. I'm going to show you how it is for both right and left-handed. First point is top of the head, and you want to stimulate it through tapping. And if you feel like a monkey, get used to it, because this is such an amazing tool. If you have this in your life, you can get rid of any stress that comes your way. Okay, this is how it looks with the left hand. You see? Exactly the same point, just with a different hand. Now I'm going to show you point two, inside of the eyebrow. So on the same side, same spot, excuse me, but on the other side. This is if you want to tap with your right hand, point three. See, it's on the side here. This is if you were tapping with your left hand. Next is point four. It's gentle, this point, because this is a very sensitive area on your face. And next one is here. You see how fast I'm tapping? It's tick, 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 tick. Now, how many taps people ask me? As long as it takes you to say your title. If you have a one-word title called bad, you just know one word, bad, and you know it's that instant that was horrible in your life. Then you tap as long as it takes. So you would say bad, that's three taps. So you'll find at least three taps, sometimes seven taps, but don't go counting your taps. It is irrelevant. Just know that as long as you say that one to three word title, it'll be fine. So we've had so far point one, point two, point three, point four. Remember there's 10 I'm gonna show you. This next one is here, and that's obviously the same for each hand because there's only one point in the middle there. Next one is number six, above your chin or below your lower lip. Okay, the next one, we've had six so far, and now the next one is below your collarbone. With your right hand, you want to cross over to the left side of your body. How you find it is you locate the little bone of the collarbone and go down a little bit until you hit this little area, which is a bit of a pocket. Another way of finding it is hook into this area here and then go down and out about two centimeters to an inch. It's this little pocket that sits comfortably. It's known as the collarbone point or K27. If you want to look this up after this video, but please, you don't really need to. So you can, this, I'm going to give you everything you need. You don't need to go researching it. You can if you want and if that's how you work. But with this video, you'll be set and you can watch it over and over again to learn it. But it's a very simple technique. Why? The best things that stick with you are the most simple things. A fork, a knife, a spoon. That hasn't changed for many years, has it? Why? Because it works. It's simple. EFT, simple. Ten points. Get rid of your memory stress. Get rid of your themes. Okay. So this is the next point. Point six, point seven. Now if you're left, just do it on the opposite side. Okay. Now I'm going to go to point eight. 10 centimeters under your armpit at the breast or breast muscle, the pec for gentlemen, and on the same the other side. Now you see how I'm lifting up my hand? You don't need to do it that way, I'm just showing you. So what you would do with normal tapping is just lift your arm a bit and you can even reach the point when your arm's down. The reason we don't tap on the same side is it's just a bit hard. Yeah, it looks a bit strange and it doesn't feel very nice. So that's why you reach over to this part. Now, if you're concerned, if you have a larger body or if you're a lady and you have your bra strap here, none of that stuff matters. I'm saying on the rib cage, but if you're tapping on a little bit of a layer there, don't worry. That's just the spot where your meridian runs. It runs on the surface of your body, okay? So that's perfect. Two points to go. The next one, tapping with your right hand. You want to slap on the inside of the wrist where your watch would be. And this way for the other hand. Point nine, three meridians come together here. A very powerful point. And the final point is the karate chop point. So if you're tapping with your right hand, it's this. It's a fleshy part. And this here. So those are the ten points. One recap. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Other hand, 
1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And then you've got your themes with your memories and each individual score. Pick your first memory. I would start with the tens, the big ones. Why? Because you get this avalanche effect. These big cards are pulled from your house of cards that are your themes and everything starts to topple after a while. So get your big first memory, okay? Now what you want to do is do three rounds of these 10 points while you say the title. I'm going to use a title that's on my list called Car Accident Bridge. Okay. Car Accident Bridge. Car accident bridge, car accident bridge, car accident bridge, car accident bridge. I'm doing it the tempo I normally do. You might have to work your way up to it. So if you start slower, that's fine. But this is the tempo you're looking for. Car accident bridge, car accident bridge. There's no need to linger at each point. I've seen EFT done where people stay at one point for minutes and it's just it's a bit boring and it's not necessary okay so don't do it just be there you got to just do it your meridian is flushed as you tap on it the stress is there you don't even need to think of your memory anymore why because when you assign that title your brain your body knows ah, it's that stress we're dealing with your system is ready to go it's ready to release this for you so car accident bridge car accident bridge car accident bridge car accident bridge see my tapping three to seven taps do not start counting. Irrelevant. Okay? Car accident bridge, 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 car accident bridge. Round one. Car accident bridge, 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 round two. Car accident bridge, 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 round three. Then what you want to do is close your eyes and breathe out deeply twice through the mouth. Keep your eyes closed. Now, one of two things, one of two things is going to happen. Your number is going to go down or your body is going to bring up a new layer. I call that steps and stairs. Your body can guide you down to the next layer as it is stored in your brain and in all the memory of your cells. So what can come up is a new memory. It's just there. It's like, oh my God, where did that memory come from? It can be any random memory. It doesn't have to make sense to you. Memory and emotion, something physical like, oh, all of a sudden I feel this tightness on my chest or my right knee hurts or... Oh, I got this migraine that popped in straight away. Or the fourth thing is a detail of the memory. If it's this car accident you're working on, the moment that you maybe hit the side of that bridge is just zoomed into your mind. So one of those two things is going to happen. Number's going to go straight down or as something new. Now let me tell you, that something new will be that clear to you. It will not be something you've got to go looking for because as soon as you look for it, it's not relevant. So with steps and stairs, you're going to get potential pop-ups, right? One of those four things I explained. Different memory, an emotion, something physical, or a detail of the memory. Now, you do not want to go looking for these. These are like in your face. You can't get rid of them, and they're there to be tapped on. If you get a pop-up, assign a number from 1 to 10, and tap immediately on your next three rounds with the pop-up. So let's say I get coming up here. Okay, so what I want to do then is tap on fear. So fear, I assign a number, feel into it. Well, that's an eight. Okay, so I tap fear, 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 etc. for three rounds. And I breathe out again. And then I see if there's a yet another layer coming up underneath that. I keep writing them down like a steps and stairs method. So you've breathed out twice as a recap. Number's going to go down. Or you're going to get a pop-up. That's the second option. If you get a pop-up, write it down, assign a number, do three rounds. You could get another pop-up under that. And these steps and stairs can sometimes lead very deep. But only for about half of the people would you get that. If you do, keep writing down what the pop-up is. It could be fear or uh, the car crash uh, on the bridge leads to this memory of you as a kid in the back of your car. And you don't really know what it's all about. 
So keep assigning the layers that come up with new numbers and tap everything to calm and clear, which is another word for zero. But I don't like to say zero. Why? Because the mind gets attached to the word, the number zero. So say, is it calm and clear? Does it feel calm and clear? That means you're done with it. Okay. So you want to keep tapping three round series until you've reduced your numbers all the way to calm and clear. So if it's a single release, meaning you start with an eight on car accident bridge, and then it goes from eight, then it's a five, then it's a three, then it's calm and clear. That's a single release and you're done with that memory. If layers come up, you want to make sure that all the layers that come up are calm and clear, starting with the lowest one. Keep skipping to the next one that comes up after you've breathed out twice. Make sure that's calm, then work your way back up the stairs until you're back at the top one and make sure that one is calm and clear. So what's happened after you tapped out a memory is that memory used to be a memory that was in the dangerous category or category of memories that bother you in your life on a subconscious level. So you're always protecting those out of you, out of your way so you can do daily life. Because imagine if all of your stressful, traumatic, hurtful memories are in your face all day long. You couldn't even drive a car or do your job or be with your family or you couldn't do life. So your body is used to using the mechanism of pushing those away. Now this is why a lot of people get issues because they don't deal with all that stuff that's pushed away. And you see the older generation, their body starts to break down because they haven't dealt with all this emotional stress. And it costs life force to keep those away, like, you know, bodyguards that have to protect all these memories. And guess what? The more you have that you need to protect in your system, the less life force, chi, prana you have to be happy, healthy, and abundant. And so when you tap out a memory, what happens is you free up life force points so you feel happier, healthier, and more abundant. And literally that memory shifts in your brain to the area of memories that are neutral or it's assigned as a neutral memory like tying your shoelaces or having a, having a cup of coffee. And so all of those things aren't very impactful in your life and you've got millions if not billions of those type of moments in time and so what we want to do is find those 100 200 or whatever it is for you memories that are impactful in your life often to do with family relationships your health anything to do with your themes write them down assign numbers and get tapping you've got to do this work and then once you've done all that work you just keep yourself clean whether you tap once a day, once a week, once a month, or even once every three months, just start tapping it out and get used to knowing that when things happen, that's going to be part of life. You know, things are going to happen in your life. Why? Because you're living a human experience. So you're going to have memories where it's fear, grief, anger, guilt, shame, disempowerment. It's going to happen. I can tell you that's never going to stop. But when it happens, you tap it out. You release it. You let go. When there's dirt on you and you're smelly, you have a shower. When your emotions get stinky and smelly and yucky, you have an emotional shower, and that's EFT. So a memory happens to you. You store it in your body. Then you load it into your meridians. Use the 10 points over and over again and flush out that stress. And by doing those memories, you dissipate all these houses of cards, which are your themes. And before you know it, you're not depressed anymore. Before you know it, you're not dealing with this physical ailment anymore. And every physical ailment can be backtracked by doing the emotional work. Now, a next layer, which we address as well, not today, but that's a different layer underneath all of this, is working with your negative thought patterns and your negative emotions, your limiting beliefs. And that's what we use intuitive kinesiology for. But to be honest, at this stage, your first step is always getting rid of your negative emotions. And you can do that by yourself. You don't need anyone. And you can go through life very happy with that and very healthy and feeling very, very abundant. So recap. Find your themes. Find your memories. Assign numbers. Tap it all out with the 10 points. Remembering that you just want to use an average pressure, a nice speed. You want to flush it all out by breathing it out and keep working on all the layers that come up until it's all gone. And you'll notice that even if you do 10 of your massive, big, traumatic memories in your life, you get rid of those, you're gonna to start to feel freer. Why? Because you get life force back. 
life force that had been assigned to keeping these memories locked up and away out of your daily life. And all of a sudden you feel happier and healthier and more abundant. And so this, what I've shared with you now, is part one of this series that Ophelia and I are doing. Because part two will be a demonstration of clearing a memory and talk and tap. So we'll go into that in part two. But this is all you need if you are going to be working with us with EFT to set you up or if you want to do this at home. Now just a final little note, making that list of all your memories, whether it's 100 you find or only 20, whatever it is, I found 600. Now I know that's extreme, but maybe I needed to go through that because this happened to be one of my passions in my life that I can now teach you guys because of everything I had to go through in clearing all those out in my life. And so making that list is called the personal peace procedure. And that's one of the terms from Gary Craig, the original founder of EFT back in the mid 90s. You know, and a great, if you want to do some EFT research and you really love this stuff, a great website is amofree.com, E-M-O-Free.com. Gary Craig has a lot of original stuff on there and that is still a really good go-to place if you want to do more research. But understand, that with this video you have everything you need. Okay, thank you so much guys. So we've got Ophelia here with us again and she's been listening in. So was there anything you wanted to add, things that I maybe forgot or things you wanted to add into all this? Yeah, so uh, specifically for the people that will be having a session with us, um, for you to know that, that we'll be going through a structured format throughout the session and part of that will be finding your themes, finding the structure of how your life has come about and then we'll go into the intuitive kinesiology, the different um, negative beliefs, that type of thing. And it all sort of, it can either go in a bit of a flowing format or, or quite a structure depending on how things sit in your system. So to do, just be really open to that. But EFT will be the main thing in the first session that will be lifting a lot of layers. And then also the support system around that will be the, the intuitive kinesiology. I so guess that's the two-sidedness of this particular video because this is all about EFT. When we do do sessions, we use our intuition, we use our energy work, we our use EFT, coaching. our life coaching and intuitive kinesiology, and it's this big mix. However, this the main message of this today is a pre preparation for you to do EFT work with us, but also to fully empower you yes. at home to never need us or anyone else again in your emotional clearing, because it's that simple. Mm. You know, that's how simple life made it. Use these 10 points, you don't ever need to think about why it works and how it works if you don't want to. Follow the instructions, write them down and get going. Because if you don't get going, no one's gonna do it for you, right? The cavalry yeah, ain't coming. That's right. And I just wanted to add as well, you know, if you forget a point and you, you, you skip over it, it's okay, Just you could either just do another run or, you know, another, um, what is it called? Three. Just another, Hang yeah, on. another cycle. So, so if you miss a section, just do another, another cycle. Another round. Another round of yeah. tapping. Um, it, 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 as Sakal said, it's for, it's a forgiving practice. So just just keep playing with it. Don't get stressed about doing it. Just keep, you know, um, we're going to teach the talk and tap next time, and that's beautiful because you just you, there's there's no pure technique with it. You're just tapping as you talk, and it's flushing out as we're talking. So, um, yeah, I think um, that's all we need. Beautiful. And, and so if you do start this, just be brave and know that stuff might come up. But guess what? That stuff that was already there anyway, blocking your progress in life, being happy, healthy and abundant. So get into it. Don't be scared. Keep tapping and stick to the memory. Don't get into, oh, my God, I'm feeling so depressed. Now I have to tap on depressed, depressed. No, stick to how I taught it to you guys, because that's how you'll be successful at this. And I can tell you after almost 15 years and with all of those different types of clients I've worked with, people who hardly feel anything to people who are extremely over emotional, it works for everyone. If you're on antidepressants, just a little tip, there's a little ice layer that's formed, a little layer that's formed over your emotions. So you just have to be a little bit more getting through that layer. Just keep with it, just stick with it and do the process as I explained, okay? So look, Good luck with that, guys. You can do this. Just get started one step at a time, okay? One step at a time and you'll get there. If you do end up trying this at home, which I really want for you because I know how beneficial it has been for us, our family, and all our clients, 
let us know how you go below. And if you have any questions on stuff that comes up, just comment below and we'll just let you know and we'll get, get a couple of questions happening so that people know what they run into. But trust me, if big stuff comes up, it's because it's meant to come up and keep tapping, keep doing the rounds. If things are slower, do three rounds and then another three and then another three and keep working on it. You know, if in the beginning it's a bit slow, that's okay because you've got to start somewhere and you've got to get this ball rolling. And remember, you don't need to do all of these memories because you'll find as you do the big ones, always start with the big ones. The little ones will get less and less and less. So look, good luck with that. Thanks so much for tuning in. And we'll see you in part two where we actually do a demonstration for you. Thank you. Thank you.